the real life cycle cost of a rotary air compressor. Today, those who are about to buy an air compressor are aware that the most significant investment is not the purchasing cost, but the operating. During the life of a compressor, the energy consumption accounts for over 60% of the total cost. Knowing the energy efficiency of the compressors we wish to install is very important. All the biggest manufacturers must declare the efficiency of their products in order to safeguard their buyers. However, to what extent is the data reliable? In order to safely compare a screw compressor and a rotary vane compressor, it is necessary to consider the energy efficiency over time of both products. Let's see how to evaluate the efficiency of a compressor in more detail. The screw compressor has bearings, ball and thrust, with high tolerance machine seats, permitting the bearings to work with minimum play and resulting in a high volumetric efficiency. At zero hours, a screw compressor presents the highest level of energy performance of its operating life. Once the compressor is installed and turned on, the bearings will inevitably slowly wear, which leads to a continuous decrease of performance over time. In screw compressors, this decreasing level of performance eventually reaches a level where it becomes necessary to replace the bearings. This usually happens between 35,000 and 50,000 hours. Unlike the screw compressor, a rotary vane compressor does not have such bearings. Therefore, a rotary vane compressor does not experience such wear and losses in energy efficiency. Thus, the performance of rotary vane compressors remains constant over time. In fact, rotary vane compressors actually have a short running in period of just 1000 hours, during which time the energy efficiency performance improves by 4 to 6 percent, compared to zero hours as certified by Intertech, internationally renowned third-party institute in the USA. Let's look at an example to clarify the difference in terms of costs and gains. Considering a 75 kilowatt compressor with a specific energy at zero hours of 6 kilowatts per cubic meter per minute and an air delivery of 15 cubic meters per minute, which will function for five years at 8,000 hours per year at 0.2 euros per kilowatt. According to the data declared by the manufacturer's catalogues, which consider the efficiency at zero hours as constant over time, this type of compressor would cost the user 720,000 euros. However, due to wear in its bearings, which need to be periodically replaced, assuming a relatively small loss in performance of 5%, your average screw compressor will cost the user 740,000 euros. Unlike the screw compressor, the initial energy efficiency of a rotary vane compressor in the first 1,000 hours of running improves before remaining constant over time. As a consequence, the client, instead of spending the amount declared at zero hours of 720,000 euros, would spend only 680,000 euros. Choosing a rotary vane compressor would therefore offer savings over a five-year period of up to 10% of the electric energy. By considering the life cycle energy costs of both compressors, Mate rotary vane compressors become the most efficient, long-lasting and reliable on the market.